hot here. Yeah, this furnace is probably about 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. It may not look like it, but what you're seeing is a celebration. A celebration of the liberation of glass. Blow. This is putting the glass in the hands of the artist, and that happened here. What happened right here at the Toledo Museum of Art 50 years ago was one of those moments in history when imaginative people intersect with technology to create something new. In this case, freeing artists to make glass in their own studios. In 1962, ceramics instructor Harvey Littleton created a workshop in a garage at this museum to explore the possibilities of newly developed small furnaces. The real innovation was, of course, any artist could use this in their garage. They could make a furnace and and, and make a little uh, workshop for glass and learn the techniques. Jeff Mack knows how difficult and dangerous it is to work with glass. When you approach the furnace and the molten glass, you have to approach it with humility. Beautiful glass has been around for thousands of years, from ancient Egypt and Rome to Tiffany's in 19th century America. But making it is so difficult that before 1962, artists had to hand over their designs to industrial furnaces to be completed. All that changed with Harvey Littleton's modest workshop, which gave rise to what came to be known as the studio glass movement. The idea behind it to have an artist with a vision create works in glass by himself in a studio setting was absolutely revolutionary. Yuta Page is the curator of the Toledo Museum of Art's show called Color Ignited in honor of that 1962 workshop. Of course, back then, things didn't seem so promising. It was fly by the pants. <laughs> they had to figure out what tools to use, what materials to use, how to work with them. At first, the achievements were small. These glass blobs may not look like much. Normally, something like that would go right back into the furnace and be melted down Tossed again. out. But we're very lucky that we have them because they document to us how far the field has come. Littleton's experiments were looking like a failure until Toledo glass scientist Dominic Labino came to the rescue. He really brought the technological knowledge you know, to the success of the early workshops. Labino was an engineer with over 60 patents to his name who helped develop fiberglass insulation for the NASA space program. But he also wanted to be an artist, so he joined forces with Littleton and showed him how to build a usable furnace and supplied him with glass beads that could be melted more easily. It was Dominic Labino's input that allowed the design to be changed and made into something workable. Ultimately, Labino came to be an artist himself. Wow, wow. This, this is, is a Dominic this is a piece Labino. That creating such works as this wall of color. Each one of these is very hard one. There were lots of levels of experimentation behind you know, the individual patterns that are reflected in this. He would eventually create these beautiful designs too. Harvey Littleton was also mastering glass techniques, evolving from simple experiments to intricate creations. He also goes back again to transparent glass and the optical qualities of color. While traditionally glassmakers jealously guarded their secrets, Littleton and Labino wanted to share their hard-won expertise with university students. Harvey Littleton knew from the very beginning that a movement really could not take hold unless you have people propagating it. You need to have artists taking it to the next generation and the next generation after that.
And so the studio glass movement caught on. These are some of the stunning results. There's the work of Littleton's student, Dale Chihuly. And yet another generation is represented by this piece. It's by the show's youngest artist, Andrew Erdos. What started in an Ohio garage back in 1962 has truly blossomed into creations of startling beauty. The studio glass movement freed artists from around the world to express themselves fully in the difficult but brilliant medium of glass.